Okay guys, it's KJM and we are in the home stretch of Countdown to Christmas and Miracles of Christmas, Christmas season 2022. All right, um, this is the rundown for the weekend of December 9th. So yesterday at 8 p.m. Eastern, the most colorful time of the year premiered. I will do a review for that right behind this. Um, tonight, what is this? Cl Christmas class reunion with Amy Teagarden. Not really looking forward to that. To be honest, I wasn't looking forward to the most colorful time of the year, but it actually surprised me. But the class reunion looks really bad. I'll be very surprised if that's good. And I like Amy Teagarden. And then on Sunday, we have that holiday sitter, which out of all the movies premiering on Countdown to Christmas, The Holiday Sitter is the one that I was the most excited about. Um, and then over on Miracles of Christmas, we have The Gift of Peace with Nikki DeLoach starring tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. So we're in the home stretch, and there are some things I want to do because today is December 10th. And I wanted to let you guys know in case you're just tuning in to Countdown to Christmas and Miracles of Christmas like give y'all some movies that you may have missed or may not have been advertised as much so after you watch the review for the most colorful time of the year keep going because i've lined up i think 12 movies on countdown to christmas for the 2022 season and four for miracles of christmas for the 2022 season that you guys may have missed that are must, must see and they may not have been advertised well so I'm gonna try to go over that as well. I'm kind of bad with names and now that's a lot of movies to have to talk about in a short amount of time but I'm going to try to do it. All right so once again this is what the weekend is looking like. Um, You guys let me know what it is you're excited about all the commercials looked kind of terrible except for the holiday sitter and Megan and I have already started reading the Facebook comments for the holiday sitter and unfortunately I've taken a break on reading you know negative racist or homophobic comments but people have already started um making those nasty homophobic comments uh under you know the post for this movie so it's a bit upsetting but I'm still super excited because it looks like it's going to be a great movie. And my first thought was, oh my God, he has to give up, you know, Hawaii to babysit his niece and nephews. Like, Jonathan, why? Why? All right, guys, on to my next review. And um, you guys tell me what you're looking forward to this weekend.